Hi crafty friends, this is Leah Lawson with Pinkfresh Studio and I am here at the studio at scrapbook.com to share one of our newest product collections that we are super excited about. This is a collection of large washi tape that also has coordinating stamps and dies. We love washi tape at Pinkfresh Studio, but we wanted to find a way to make it more fun and fresh. So we came out with these A2 sized washi tapes. And that's just a fancy way of saying five and a half inches. So it fits an entire card front, but you can also trim them down to make them layer inside of a card. You can use these on your layouts as embellishments tucked behind your photos. There's just so many options. So let's go ahead and take a look at the four different designs in this A2 sized washi tape. This one is called Adorable Frames. And what we've got are these trend forward geometrical frames in gold. And then they have this beautiful watercolor wash in the background. Now we have added these watercolor strips in between each frame so that you know where one starts and ends. This is great for when you're wanting to make this the background of your card, you know right where to put it on your cardstock. This is the other background washi. It's called Rainbow with Splatters. We've got these three beautiful watercolor washed rainbow backgrounds, and then they have some added gold splatter. And just the same as the adorable frames washi, it has these grid pieces that separate each background so you know where they start and end. Now you can absolutely use those grid pieces as thinner washi tape on your projects as well. Up next is the painted floral washi. This one is probably my favorite. I just love the colors and all of the beautiful florals that are included. Now these are really fun ones. Not that the other ones aren't fun, but what I love about these is you'll see these beautiful floral images. And the cool thing about it is they actually have a coordinating die. So you can put them on vellum or cardstock and then die cut them out and you can put those elements everywhere. The die cuts look like this once they're, once they're cut out. And then finally, the fourth washi tape is called Eucalyptus Fantasy. Just like the painted florals, you've got some elements that have matching dies, like the wreath and the eucalyptus leaves. And then of course, these fun little bunches here. Now there's also this strip, which you just use as is, and then we've got this beautiful on-trend frame as well that you would just use as your background. We also came out with two thin washi tapes. This one is called Watercolor Fantasy, and it's just a beautiful ombre of blues and purples. And then we also did a matte gold. Now, we wanted there to be extra options with these thinner washi tapes. So we also created these simple edgers to pair with our thin washi. And what you get when you cut them is you get these beautiful scalloped edge or zigzag stitch edge. And it just is an added pretty touch to using these thin washi tapes. So one of the really fun parts about this washi tape release is that we also coordinated it with stamps and dies. So you've got this set, this is the Eucalyptus Fantasy set. And as you can see, it matches the images that are actually in the washi tape. So a couple of fun options that you can do, you can actually stamp this on top of the washi tape and heat emboss it to just give it some added detail. But you can also stamp these separately and color them the way that you want to color them. Whereas the washi tape obviously is, is already colored. We've also got the coordinating dies. And so what that does is here is a strip of that washi tape just on a sheet of cardstock. And you can take the coordinating die and line it up and you can cut out many of the elements from the washi tape. This is just a really exciting option that we've added for these washi tapes to make them more versatile and more user friendly. So the painted floral washi tape actually comes with two coordinating stamp sets. Up first is floral cluster. So this has the one big floral cluster. If you wanna see what it looks like in the washi tape, it looks like that. 
So once again, you can stamp and heat emboss directly on top of the washi, or you can stamp this by itself and color it however you see fit with watercolors, markers, anything. There's also a lot of really beautiful sentiments on here. You've got five big scripted words and then smaller phrases to add to those scripted words and really finish your sentiment. The other stamp set is called Floral Elements. Now these are just all of the different floral elements that you see in the washi tape in stamp form. So you can use them any way that you see fit. You've got every single element and then you also have all of the coordinating dies. Now these coordinating dies also go with the washi tape. So everything all works together. You can mix and match, you can use them as you see fit. So just like the eucalyptus fantasy set, you've got these coordinating dies that you just line up with the images and you can cut them right out from the washi tape. So this floral cluster is part of the Painted Florals washi tape, and I just wanted to show you how fun and easy it is to die cut. So this is the floral cluster die, and you just have to line it up, and sometimes it takes me a minute to find right where it goes, but you just wanna line it up and then tape it down with, you can use washi tape you have on hand. I'm using purple tape. I like because it comes off really easily. And I am using a Gemini Junior. These will cut with any standard die cutting machine out there. I just happen to use the Gemini Junior at home, so it's what I'm most versed in. So you just sandwich it in and then run it through. And what you are finished with is this big beautiful cluster that looks like you took tons of time to color, but really all you did was cut it out and you're gonna put it on your project. So lovely. So I wanted to share just a few examples of some cards made with all of this beautiful washi tape. So up first is this card using the wreath. I've die cut it out with the coordinating dies and I actually turned it into a shaker card. So underneath it, you've got these beautiful crystals and how fun would that be to receive in the mail? This card right here is very clean and simple. It's very flat, it will go through the mill super easy. And I just wanted to share a fun technique with this card. So this washi tape is stuck right onto the card base. And the way that we did that was we actually put the washi tape onto just parchment paper, which is a, is a baking utensil and die cut it on the parchment paper and the washi tape pulls right off of the parchment paper so you can stick it onto whatever surface you want. This washi tape is actually really sticky. So we tried it on a few different things. We tried sticking it to vellum first, but it doesn't pull off. So we found that the parchment paper works best and that is a way that you can keep your card nice and flat and clean and simple. This is using the Eucalyptus Fantasy washi tape and I just wanted to show that this is one where we stamped the design onto the washi tape and then heat embossed it. And it just gives it a little bit of added shine, a little bit of gold. It's just a, a nice added detail. This card uses the rainbow with splatters and we die cut it with one of our Pinkfresh Studio Essentials dies, which are available here at scrapbook.com. And it just gives it that nice stitched border. It looks like you took hours to create this watercolor rainbow background when all you did was a little bit of die cutting. And then added the floral cluster stamped and heat embossed in white to the front so that the color, uh, you weren't covering up any of that color in the background. So those are some just really beautiful examples of this A2 sized washi tape at work. So for today's video, I wanted to show how I put together this card featuring the Eucalyptus Fantasy washi tape, coordinating dies, and stamp set. You can actually heat emboss on our washi tape, but I have some tips for it because you can melt the washi tape. So I wanted to show you how I do that today. So to start, I actually got all of the washi tape pieces ready. I went ahead and put the frame just on a thinner piece of white cardstock and also the eucalyptus bunches. And I went ahead and pre-die cut them with the coordinating dies. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that frame background into a stamping platform. This is a really important step because you might need to stamp it more than once. 
and this way you'll get a good impression multiple times. So I am using the Eucalyptus Fantasy stamp set and I have picked this thank you for your gracious hospitality sentiment. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it just in the upper left corner of the frame piece. One other thing you wanna make sure that you do is you wanna make sure that you prep the surface with a, t with a powder tool, you'll want to generously apply the powder to keep the embossing powder from sticking. So I'm using a embossing ink and I'm going to ink that sentiment up, get it good and covered with using the platform. If you don't get a nice even, even stamp coverage, you can always stamp it again. Just press that down and I'm going to take a look and it actually looks like we got a really great impression the first time around, so we don't need to restamp. And with this stamping done, I am going to cover it in some gold embossing powder. And as I mentioned, I did use the powder tool generously, but some embossing powder might still stick, and it's easy enough to just wipe off with your finger or a little brush. It looks like I need to get a little bit more on that G. And then the next step, of course, is to heat set it. So a couple of tips when you are heat setting embossing powder on washi tape. First is I actually turn on my heat gun while I'm doing the stamping. That way it gets nice and warm so that it's ready to go when you, when you start to heat set. And then you just want to keep your heat gun moving and you don't want it to stay in one place too long because if you do, you do run the risk of melting the washi tape. This might take a little bit longer to get that embossing powder to set up, but you at least make sure that you don't melt your washi tape by doing it this way. And look at that. Beautiful gold heat embossing on washi tape. With the heat embossing done, now it's just time to start putting the card together. I am going to use a tape runner to put this heat embossed washi tape background directly onto an A2 sized card base. This will cover the entire front so it's not going to leave a border around. And that looks beautiful just as is. But I want to add these lovely eucalyptus bunches that I've already die cut. And we are just going to, we're going to put a little bit of tape runner just on the bottom. And then we're gonna use some foam dots to pop up just the tops of them to give them a little bit of added dimension. And we'll stick this first guy up right here. And then we're gonna do that a second time with the second bunch. And that is it. You can finish off your card by just adding a couple of additional little jewels here and there if you'd like. It just gives a little bit added shimmer and shine. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happiness is life handmade.